In today's video, we studded Piggy's tires, my Honda Goldwing, and took it on top of this frozen lake and went ice fishing out of my hot tent. Oh, oh yeah. Guys, we've resurrected Piggy. We're gonna go ice fishing on a frozen lake. We've got studded tires. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think this is gonna be the first gold wing on a frozen lake. So in the last video, it was only on five cylinders in Moab, but I fixed that, so now we're on all six. After a long winter's nap, it fired right up. She's almost looking better than she ever has. <laughs> now Kevin and I are gonna drive many hours to the frozen lake. <laughs> Kevin and I, we really have no idea what we're doing here. So none. We don't we have no idea. So to be safe, this is a 16 inch drill bit, 16 inches long. So we're hoping for at least half of it of ice. Jeez, it looks pretty thick, Kev. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa. I buried it at 16 inches, so the ice right there is at least 16 inches thick. According to the internet, you could drive a car on 16. This is the first time we've ever taken on ice, so we're not sure how it's gonna do. Let's just see if the studs even get any traction. Mm. Before we unload Piggy, I'm gonna take the 300 out there with the ice studs. Oh, and off camera, I went out way deep into the lake and drilled like 10 more holes, and the ice was at least 16 inches thick everywhere. So let's go see if this gets any traction. That worked pretty good. Doesn't quite have enough traction to do a wheelie. Let's go unload Piggy and see how she does. Mm -hmm. So Matt, tell us why we're putting the battery back into Piggy. Because <laughs> I had to use this battery to jumpstart my truck at the gas station. That didn't work. <laughs> didn't work. So then we asked a kid to jump us and he did. Thank you to him. Also, what else is going on? I need to get a new battery in my truck. <laughs> what about starting it right oh, now? And it's dead again. <laughs> the reverse, reverse. Sweet. I wish the Pusa had reverse. Right? All right, let's go see if we can even take this on the ice. I've got a flat tire, Kev. Ooh. Hold on, cowboy. Whoa. Let's go to a gas station and see if we can figure something out. Uh, yeah. Let's go see if we can sort something out. How far is that? An hour from here. Dang it! So essentially we drove... For many, many hours. <laughs> two and a half hours. Yeah. Not that bad. And we got a flat tire. Well, first we need to go start my truck. Because the battery's dead. <sighs> Ooh, I forgot about that part. This is just a rolling crapshoot. <laughs> These videos... We don't normally live this way at all, ever. All right, jump pack, I hope you're enough charged. Woo, okay. That's one success and we need a few more to make this happen. Pearl's just in it. Never can keep a good girl down. Oop. What about that front grill though? It's a little loose, but it stays on. We're gonna figure this out. Let's, Let's get, get to done. the gas station. So we made it down the road a bit and I realized I always keep a little air pump in my truck. So we're gonna see if we can do some shade tree mechanics and maybe get this tire back on. The problem though, it's de-beaded. So first we need to bead the tire and then air it. It's gonna be questionable if we're gonna be able to make it work, but we're gonna give it our best go because we're so far in the middle of nowhere. If we go anywhere to fix it, by the time we come back, it's already gonna be dark. So we need to make this happen right now. God, I'm just excited to see what these tires will do. Me too. We need to get this beaded up before we can even air it up. So I'm gonna use this strap and put it around the tire and tighten it to force the tire onto the bead. Will it work? I don't know. 
Well, no, theoretically, this should be fine, right? I mean, I don't know. I think so. working it is well look it's growing right there I think it's working it's totally working oh my gosh what about the snowstorm that rolled in yeah it's actually working <laughs> yeah Kev right I thought it was supposed to be bluebird today I know they were it was supposed to be sunny it's dumping snow Atmospheric river. Oh! OMG, dude. I can't believe that. Necessity is the mother of invention. It's nuking snow. We've got some air in the tire. There must be a leak somewhere through one of the studs because it is tubeless, but it had sealant in it. So I'm gonna go ride it and get the sealant on the tire and we should be good to go. And then we're gonna go test the wing out on the ice. If it does good and it's safe-ish to ride, safe-ish, we're gonna hook up a sled behind it and drag all of our ice fishing gear out there and see if we can catch a fish and then cook it up in the hot tent. Yeah, it's working. Tires holding air. Let's go take this out on the ice and see how it does. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you see how skatey it is out there? way and that extra snow makes a huge difference dude i think so yeah we definitely do not have the right studs on this so we have grip studs which are meant for frozen dirt and i was just hoping they'd work on the ice they kind of work does the front feel like it holds good yeah the front holds pretty good man i want to go do some more circles before we drag all the ice fishing stuff out there right this thing's pretty fun on the ice it turned out to be a beautiful day sun how could you go wrong The front tire has so much more traction than the back tire for whatever reason. Maybe it's the design of the studs, I'm not sure. Let me see if I can get a big circle drift somewhat under control. Did you really slide that far? <laughs> that was pretty unnecessary. How far did you slide? <laughs> All right, let's go load up the sled and go catch some fish and try out the new hot tent. Hmm. <laughs> that was kind of a hard hit. I don't want to do that again. I'm glad the wing didn't catch me though. That would have been bad. It started to go, I high sided, and as soon as I knew it was gone, I just left off of the bike and I just literally slid down the ice 25 feet. I slid Dude. all the way to over here. This is where I got up. 33 feet. 33 paces. I just went to go take off and the front brake is stuck on. I think it's because on impact, the brake got pushed down. I gotta put it back into place. 
Mm. See, the master cylinder got pushed down too much, and it's wedged, so the brake is oh, stuck I got on. You. So I just need to bang it up. I just need to get it up a few inches. There we go. Okay. Maybe a little more. Oh, there we go. What size wrench was that? Okay. We'll try that. Size 10? No, I, I'm, I wear a size 6. You definitely chose the appropriate footwear for the ice. Slick cowboy boots. We're good! I should have asked you, do you want to ride? No. no. <laughs> Hold on. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'll walk. <laughs> So this is the wood stove that I'm really excited to try out. Dare I say, Matt, this is the dream? This is the dream. Oh. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else right now. Look at this. The dream. What else do we got? Ooh. <laughs> Kevin and I are not, not ice fishermen, so we don't have anything to drill a big hole besides a chainsaw. Right? <laughs> we have no idea. What all kind of bait did you bring, by the way? Oh, yeah. Let me anything show you that. Good? I, I don't know. I, I mean, I think so. Who told you what to get? You did. You didn't talk to him at the store and say, hey, we're going ice fishing, what do we need? Well, I went to Walmart. I don't think they really know how to fish there. Oh, you're right. Okay, so we're working with some treble hooks mm -hmm. for this, the trout bait. Oh, yeah, there you That's go. That's what you were talking about, right, Kev? Yep, yep, yep. Got some of these mm -hmm. for these. Oh, little artificial worms. Yeah, and some bobbers, because bobbers. bobbers always work. I guess so. Would, wasn't there something else you got though? Oh, I've got worms. That's, uh, I mean, come on. I didn't really want to show the worms though because I know some hardcore fishermen frown upon live bait. Right? No, 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 no. You don't no. think so? Uh, not when you're talking ice fishing, I don't think. No? Here, Kev, show them your pole setup. This okay. is pretty sweet. So the story behind this is Bud Lilly, the world famous fly fisherman from West Yellowstone, was selling his personal collection and I bought this rod. It's an ugly stick. Oh, check Probably that out. Probably from the 80s. Maybe it can teach my fishing pole some stuff. Yeah. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, don't. come on, let a fish do that. Well, let's hope we catch something. Just in case I go down again on the wing, I'm putting these on. Foiling up, coach. Let's go find a fishing spot. Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of other people's holes right here. Kevin and I, we don't know how to fish, so let's just set up right here. Yeah, Kev, I just stopped right here because I saw a bunch of holes. That's a pretty safe bet. I think we're good to go. Let's get that chainsaw out and get a hole going. So you just want me to cut it? Yeah, I want you to cut it. Okay. What's your weapon of choice here? Well, it's a Husky 562 XP, of course. I mean, do we have any clue what's going to happen when we cut this thing? No, we have no idea what's going to happen. How are we going to get the ice chunk out of <laughs> Oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's really cool. Do you think there's going to be any fish left after we just chainsawed a hole in the end? We're calling them in, okay. <laughs> be a sledgehammer or something. Wow, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> That's how much it is. <laughs> Pretty sure we don't have to worry about how thick the ice is. Nope. This is nice. 
Good hole, Kev. You think we should get a line dropped in there just in case? I, I, I don't mean, think so. There's no way there's a fish down there right now. What baloney? What are you talking about? You just hummed a chainsaw through the ice for 30 minutes. They love that. They like that? Yeah, it's called a crankbait. I think that's a big enough hole, Kev. Oh, no, that's totally big enough. Yeah. I mean, unless we're going to pull a Loch Ness Monster out of there or something. Yeah, what if we just pulled a giant and it wouldn't fit through the hole? 600 pound fish. A tuna? <laughs> yeah, out of a fresh water lake. It just went to full whiteout. It's snowing hard. We gotta get this tent set up quick. Okay, so it's just a teepee. I've never set this up, but I think we'll just drape it over the hole and then use some screws to screw it into the ice. This is how you tie it down. I bought this tent on Timu. It was $70. Interesting. What is this little tent kind of designed to do? It's meant for winter camping. So you put the stove in, start a fire, and then it warms the tent up. This is awesome! <laughs> Makes a difference. Just cut an X. Wow, that worked. Good. This, this is, is pro, cool. dude. This is pretty sweet. Got the kindling. Whoever commented on the negative 27 degree camping video I did on the snow bike, thanks for telling me how to use these. They work great now that I use them how they're supposed to be used. Basically, you have to scrape them into a fine powder and then you use the flint to light it. I was not doing that. You scrape it like this, and then you just take this. Then you got a flame. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Isn't that sweet? That is sweet. Right? Ooh, I heard a crackle. It's gonna be hot in here in no time. Could there be a fish? No. It's a little tight in here for you. Did you bring a depth finder? No. Without that, how are we gonna know what structure's down there? Let's cut a bigger hole and I'll swim down and give you a report. I think we should let this line marinate in there. And in the meantime, while the tent heats up, do some big donuts on the Sherco. It's a lot colder out here though. Oh my God. It's cold out here, right? Way colder. Oh, dude, super cold. It's only like 10 degrees Fahrenheit right Let's now. Let's see if I can get it sideways. Do you want to warm your hands up? Whoa, holy crap, that's hot. I'm sure. Should we check the fishing rod? Sure, if you want. I'm not holding any real hope that we're gonna. Oh, Kev, you gotta get in here. And you know what? We might wanna. How nice is this? Here. Wow, check that out. That is a Christmas card right there. Wow. Hello. So far, fishing report worms zero. We need to get some new bait. I'm gonna go get some new bait. You I'll be back. Go? Yeah. I need to redeem myself on the Goldwing from the earlier crash.
Kev, I've got a surprise. Since we haven't caught any fish, Ooh. I've got some soup. Ooh. I was hoping to have fish, but this is the backup plan just in case. And I've had no food today, so this is gonna be tasty. Actually, no, Kev gave me some snacks in the car. So I've had some snacks. I ate all of my snacks before we got here. <laughs> Pretty much ate a day's worth of food before on the drive over. Wow, that's gonna cook pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Should we get some tea going too? I'd say so. Some tea. Whoa, that's hot. Look at that. Hot? Whoa, that's really hot. Oh. oh my god. It's pretty good, right? Right butt cheek is completely numb now. <laughs> Wet. Oh man. Try some tea. Whoa, here you go. Is that pretty good? Way good. Whoa, that's way too hot for me. Burn my tongue. Oh. Whoa, did you feel that? I did. The whole ice just went ba boom. Can you imagine? We unzipped the tent. We're, we're like a little island away from everything else. We've been floating for an hour. <laughs> While we drink our tea and our soup. Do you hear Try that? Do you hear the ice? Whoa, that was right there. If you enjoyed that video, you might love the video YouTube recommends in the upper right. Yep, over there. Click on it. Yep, that one.